Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to talk about the sum of degrees theorem. If you like the video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. That helps other students to find the video. You can also subscribe to my channel, Ms. Hearn Mathematics, for more math videos. So in a previous video, we learned that the sum of the degrees of a graph is equal to twice the number of edges. This is because each edge contributes two connections, and each connection counts as one degree. In this video, just to keep things short and sweet, we're going to let E always be the number of edges, V the number of vertices, and S the sum of the degrees. So for example, the sum of degrees theorem tells us the formula S the sum of the degrees is two times the number of edges. And in fact, it's also true that the number of edges is the sum of the degrees divided by two, or E equals S divided by two. We're gonna look at three different examples. One, where we're given the number of edges, and we have to use the number of edges to get the sum of the degrees. Another one, where we're given the sum of the degrees, and we have to use the sum of the degrees to get the number of edges. And then we're gonna have one where we're given the number of vertices and the number of edges, and the number of degrees of all but one of the vertices, and we're asked to find the degree of the remaining vertex. So here's the first question. If a graph has 35 edges, what's the sum of the degrees of the vertices? I'm going to write down that the sum of the degrees is equal to two times the number of edges. Since we're given the number of edges, we can multiply it by two to get the sum of the degrees. So the sum of the degrees will be 70. Let's try another problem. This one asks, if the sum of the degrees of a graph is 42, how many edges does it have? So this time, we're looking for the number of edges. We know that the sum of the degrees is two times the number of edges, but they're giving us the sum of the degrees. So it'd be more convenient to use the version that says that the number of edges is the sum of the degrees divided by two. So in this case, the number of edges is gonna be 42 divided by 2, which is 21. Now let's look at this problem. A graph has five vertices and seven edges, two of degree 3 and two of degree 2. What's the degree of the remaining vertex? We do know that the sum of the degrees is two times the number of edges. So if there are seven edges, two times seven equals 14 is the sum of the degrees. Now for the rest of the problem, I like to draw a little picture. I have five vertices. I know that two of them have degree three, and I know that two of them have degree two, and I'm looking for the degree of the remaining vertex. Let's call this degree D. Well, the sum of the degrees would be three plus three plus two plus two plus D, and it has to add up to 14. That tells me that 10 plus D is equal to 14. So what value can we add to 10 to get 14? That would have to be four. The degree of that last vertex is four. So we've talked about three scenarios. First, given the number of edges, we find the sum of the degrees by multiplying two times the number of edges. Second, given the sum of the degrees, find the number of edges by dividing the sum of the degrees by two. Finally, when we're given the number of vertices, the number of edges, and all of the degrees except for one, we have two steps. First, we have to find the sum of the degrees by multiplying two times the number of edges. Then we add up all the known degrees plus D, the unknown degree, and set it equal to the sum of the degrees. Then we solve the equation. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That helps other students to find the video. You can also subscribe to my channel, Ms. Hearn Mathematics, for more math videos. And I hope you get to check out my next video where we'll learn what it means for a graph to be complete.